Hi, welcome to another Brush and Balcon video. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a relic as captain. Right, the first colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Cantor Blue, and we're just going to be painting this cape with that. Now before we start, the whole model has been undercoated with Mechanicum Standard Grey. Um, we used the Citadel spray can for that rather than paint on by hand. And then the actual grey of the armour has been washed with Citadel Null Oil. When we come back to this, we'll have the blue of his cloak done. Next we're going to be using a little bit of retributive armour, we're just going to do the gold sections on the armour. When we come back, all the gold will be finished. So that's all the gold done. Next we're going to be using Vallejo Model Air Chrome. And we're going to be using that to do all the metallics and silvers on it. When we come back, all the model air chrome will be finished. Okay, so we've finished all the model air chrome. The only difference to the model at the moment is that I've just changed this sword here. I've changed it from the Imperial Power Sword so that he's got a Chaos one now. Um, and now we're going to carry on. I'm going to use Vallejo Panzer Aces Flesh Base. I'm going to use that on his face. When we come back, all the flesh base will be done. Next we're going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher. And we're going to be using this to do the kind of iron halo and a few other little details on it. When we come back, all the lead belts will be finished. Next we're going to be using Avon Sunset to do part of the banner and the ropes down his front. When we come back, all the yellow will be done. Next we're just going to be using Citadel and my fist on red, and we're just going to be doing a few details with that. When we come back, all the fist on red will be finished. Next we're going to be using some Vallejo model colour black. That's just to do his shoulder pads and parts of his bolt gun. Like so. Next we're going to be using some Citadel Ricard Flesh. I'm going to use that on the back of the leather straps on the front and on the purity seals. When 
when it comes back all over the car flesh will be painted. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Warboss Green, Citadel colour. I'm going to use that on the laurels and the hand grenade. When we come back, all the Warboss green will be finished. The final base colour we're going to be using is Vallejo Model Air Rust. We're just going to be using parts of that on the sword. When we come back, we'll have all of the rust done. We've actually got one more colour to do, and that's Vallejo Beige Brown. And we're going to be using that just on these straps of leather down the front here. Like so. Now we're going to be using Citadel Agraxair shade. I'm going to be using that on the base brown and all the golden sections. When we come back, we'll have all the Grax Earth shade finished. Next we're just going to be using some Thonian Camo shade. We're going to be using that on the laurels. Like so. Next one I'm going to be using is Fugan Orange. And we're going to be using that on the yellows. Like so. Next we're just going to be using Seraphim Sepia and we're going to be using that on the scrolls and on his skin. Like so. Just going to be using a little bit of Juicy Violet on the reds. Like so. The final shade we're going to be using is Citadel Null Oil. I'm going to be using that on all the silvers.
When we come back we'll have all of the null oil finished. Now just add a little bit of white to the Mechanicum standard grey and we're just going to highlight all the armour and the banner as well. When we come back, all the grey highlights will be done. And we've added a little bit more white to the mix, and we're just going to do the final highlights on his armour. come back we'll have all this light grey done. Now we're just going to use a little bit more Avalon Sunset and we're going to use that to put the yellow back onto the lanyard and onto his banner. When we come back, we'll have all the yellow on. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Uriel Yellow. I'm going to use that to highlight the yellows on the banner and on his lanyard. When we come back, this yellow is going to be finished. Next colour we're going to be using is my fist on red. We're just going to be using that to highlight the base of the sword and the two purity seals. Like so. Next we're going to be using Calador Sky and Cantor Blue. We're going to be mixing a little bit of Calador Sky with the Cantor Blue to make a highlight on his cloak. Next we've just added a little bit more Calador Sky to the mix. I'm going to highlight his cloak a little bit more. Come back, we'll have all the highlights done. Finally, we've had a little bit of white to the mix, and we're just going to do one final highlight on the cloak. When we come back, all the highlighting will be done. Next we're going to be using Citadel Ricard Flesh. And we're just going to be highlighting all the ribbons and the parchments on his seals. We're also going to be using this to do the trim on his cape. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakar flesh finished. Now we're just going to be using Retributor armour again, and we're just going to be putting some gold back over the Graxair shade.
when we come back we'll have all the retributor arm finished. Now we're just going to highlight the gold with some Liberator Gold. Come back, all the gold highlights will be done. Now I'm just going to be using a little bit of watered down white to do this symbol in the middle here, and we're going to do the spikes and a circle around the middle of it, and then in the centre we're going to have a black circle with the Bellictor's chapter badge on. When we come back we'll have the circle done. Now I'm just going to start on the chapter badge. We're going to be doing the side on skull. Okay, now we're going to start working on his face a little bit. So we're just going to be using Vallejo Flesh Base again. When we come back, we'll have all the Flesh Base done. I've just mixed a little bit of white with the Vallejo Flesh Base. I'm just going to do a few little highlights on him. Like so. Now we're just going to do his eye. Very, very careful with this one. Like so. With the white in place, we're now just going to do a little spot of a band black for the pupil. Like so. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of Vallejo Chrome to do the studs on his head, which is a bright enough metallic that it should stand out. Like so. And then we'll just do the implants on the back of his skull. Like so. Next we're just going to be using a little bit of Caraber Crimson. We're going to be using that to make it around his eyes look a little bit red and also around the implants and the studs. Like so. Next we're mixing a little bit of Mephisto red and white, just so we can do the highlights on these rubies and on the lens of his eye. Add a little bit more white to it now. I'm just doing a second highlight. And finally, we're just going to use a tiny spot of pure white. Like so. A bit of faux pas there. I've just been putting the lines onto the purity seals. You can see just here on the inside there. Now we're just going to be doing a little bit of writing on some of the scroll work. A 
too thick on the end there, but we can add a tiny little bit of required flesh to that, thin that down. Like so. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And also think about subscribing to some of our other social media links below. Thanks very much.